What's going on guys and gals? Kingspin here with the Belcher Challenge again. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it and see if we get any hero progression today or what, what's going to happen. Sam Peter. Still seeing base epics. Oh, we'll go ahead and just not do that because I want to see how this actual deck looks here. Dual fused base epic. Dual fused base level. Let's throw it down right there and it's over. Fast forward through it. Still at 20, still at 1. We got a question on it. Dual Fuse level 3. Got that crap clown body. Over, moving on. Yep, still no change there. Disco Bender. Oh, Rogers Closet. That's a legend. Just so everybody is aware, that is the first legend we've seen. And it's coming at. Thirty-six points, so the battle for thirty-six, thirty-five points. We see our first legend. So the ramping is there, though. I have yet to see an actually maxed out card, which is odd. It didn't ramp through the commons to max, then the rares to max, and the epics to max before getting to the legends. It just kind of jumped right in there. Oh, there's a max duel. So a medieval hank out there. Horse costume finishes it. Fast forward through that. Still the same. Got a little question on out there. Throw a book of spells out there. You got the right robot disguise and this lady. Three more. Book of spells. Robert Neckers. And you 
MG in my life. And hero development. Finally. Heal all two. Cripple one. 35 max health. closet out there. Water in disguise. Spray on army fry. It doesn't matter. So what level was that? Thirty-nine. So level thirty-nine we saw our first hero development. And it was it was a little bit of a bump. I mean I'm not gonna call it a big difference. But it did add a second skill to him and throw up 15 extra health, so. We saw our first legend and our first hero development today. So that's all good. Puts us up at 41. Uh, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and explain this. I've got one point left on the Peter Asman challenge. I started out at 87 today. I put in nine fights and ended at 88. So, being ranked 17, 18 right now, I worry that by going in and doing this fight, I'm likely to lose and therefore lose two points on a surrender or three points on an unexpected just combo turns over, you lose which may very well drop me out of the bracket. Now, the only advantage to me going into this fight is to get the Wonder Wharf tokens or a better position out of it. If I'm not going to get a better position, I'm in a worse position, and the worse position is likely to drop me down a reward tier. Then I have to look at it like the easiest way to think it out is, am I going to make 250 Wharf tokens off that fight? No. No, I'm not. So to use that one stamina would be to run the risk of losing 25 Legend Stones, 250 Wharf Tokens. What is that? 300 Epic Stones. Five Watts. Now, that one fight, even if I won it, it wouldn't bring me up to here. But losing it may bring me down to here. So the best idea there is to just waste that one stamina. It sucks. I hate it. I might win, but it, it's not worth the risk. So we're going to kick that off. We're going to kick that off. We're going to leave that one stamina up. We're going to pop over here to shop. We've got a thousand tokens, so we're going to do a hero grip. And seven for Consuela. I can live with that. Close that out. And that's going to do it for us today. Guys and gals, thanks for watching. Be cool, be safe, be careful, and we'll catch you next time.